A lot of folks are surprised when I tell them that I can grow tropical fruit in Modesto, California, Zone 9B. I grow bananas, avocados, pineapples, and a large assortment of different kinds of tropical fruit. Lychees and longons are another. But today we're gonna to talk about this tree that I have right here, a manila mango that is producing fruit and the fruit is starting to ripen. We're gonna do a quick assessment of the tree and a quick taste test of the fruit that I harvested. But first, if you like this channel, make sure to hit the like and subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. Comments and questions, leave them in the comments section below. I do my best to get back to everybody with their comments and their questions. So let's take a look at this tree and the fruit that I just recently harvested and we'll do a taste test. For those of you that haven't seen my videos, this is my manila mango tree that I planted about Oh, I'm gonna say five years ago. It's quite tall. It's reaching, oh, probably 10 to 12 feet in the air. It's a quite lanky because it's planted on the in the side yard of my house and our houses are about 10 feet apart. There's a lot of shade back here. And as you can see though, I do have quite a bit of fruit here. Right now we're in the shady part of the day, but as you can see, the fruit is doing very good. There's probably a good 20 fruit. This is the first year that the tree has actually produced fruit for me. So we're gonna harvest a couple and we will do a quick taste test. This tree, by the way, I know some of you are gonna ask how cold the temperatures this tree has taken. It's seen some in the low 30s, upper 20s without any damage, but Manila mangoes are known to be a little bit more hardy than the average tree. It also sees temperatures above 110 as it is today. But so follow me to the picnic table and we'll do a quick taste test on some of the fruit that I just harvested. Fall is the time of fruit ripening here in my Modesto, California Zone 9B garden. I have all sorts of things ripening. I have lychees that are ripening. I got avocados that are ripening. I got mangoes that are ripening. I even have bananas that are about a month away from ripening. But today we're here to talk about mangoes and more specific, the manila mango. Uh, they're small, a small mango. This is the first year that my tree has produced fruit. And I, honestly, this is going to be the first time that I've eaten any fruit off this tree so it'll be a tree for everybody and that I'll, I'll explain how how they taste and maybe even I'll have this the camera lady have a try too so let's cut into this mango let's see if I can get this thing now this is gonna be a little unusual because I've not eaten very many of these uh, manila mangoes before when I did, they were all cut. Oh, there we go. Now, as you can see, wow, oh, that's delicious. Uh, smell, it smells delicious. There's not a lot of flesh, and as I mentioned, these are the first year that uh, this tree has produced fruit. I normally cut my mangoes with a uh, potato peel. I peel the skin off, and then I... Um, I eat them somewhat green, but this one is very ripe. A little more ripe than I like it, but we will give it a try. Yep, very ripe. Wow, it's sweet. Honestly, it has, uh, it looks like fiber, but the fiber is very smooth. It's not like a, a, a typical fibrous, um, mango. Camera lady, you want to take a quick taste? Yep. Mm. Delicious, yummy. huh? Very yummy. So it's, uh, I, I think of mangoes as having a sweet peach flavor uh, with a little bit of coconut and this is no different. This is a, a sweet, very sweet flavor. Has a, almost a uh, a carrot flavor to it. It's very sweet. It doesn't have turpentine. This variety is coconutty. Uh, very, very sweet. Um, fiber. There's a little bit of fiber in it. 
but it's not a stringy fiber it's um it breaks free and you don't really it's very creamy so there you have it my first manila mango my name is jeff if you like this channel if you like growing exotic tropical fruit in marginal climates make sure to click the like subscribe button notification bell comments and questions leave them in the comment section below i do my best to get back to everybody with their comments and their questions you have a wonderful day